welcome to this video series. Um, we are going to set up a Raspberry Pi to run Foundry, uh, host a dice rolling application, and a Python bot for Discord. Um, let's begin with the Raspberry Pi, shall we? All right, so we have the Raspberry Pi this is a four Raspberry Pi four kit. Um, it's going to be very similar for each of the Raspberry Pis. Um, the four kit has some uh, heat sinks and other junk. Um, it doesn't really matter for this application whether you choose a three or a four. Uh, they'll it'll all work the same. So. The, the Pi you choose is largely inconsequential as long as it's a 3 or a 4. So let's dive into the kit and see what we get. All right, so we get some instructions and a couple of... These are HDMI to mini HDMI cables. We get the heat sinks and a power supply. We get the on-off switch that goes on the lead to the power supply. We have a little USB dongle for the memory card, fan, of course the Raspberry Pi itself, case, and quick start guide. Here's the memory card. All right. So the memory card that comes with this is a 64 gigabit, but it's already got Raspbian on it. I don't think we're going to go with Raspbian for this build. I think we're going to do Ubuntu server only because I want to. All right, so let's dig into the Raspberry Pi. Here we have the board. There is more instructions here. All good stuff. And where did those heat sinks go? All right, so the first thing we want to do is install the heat sinks. All right, so here is a diagram, or not a diagram, but an actual picture that shows us where to place the heat sinks. We have the big one that goes on the processor, the long one that goes on whatever that chip is, and then the third one on this little chip. So. Let's place some heat sinks, shall we? Okay. Just peel the little plastic layer off of the adhesive. Right, and then this goes right on the processor. Just like that. And then we take the longer of the two remaining, same operation, peel the plastic off. And place it right on there. And the last one. Peel the plastic. And this gets placed on this chip right here. All right, there we go. Step is done and over with. Now we can get into the case. This is just the simple case. We don't have the camera. We don't have to worry about that. Does this bottom pop up? Oh, hey, look at that. All right. 
So everything here will just go right in. Snap in. Just like so, it's held into place with these two little tabs on the edge. Then, of course, the body. We have a fan to deal with. All right. So the fan, we know the fan is going to go here, but we don't know. We can see here we have the fan installed as per the shown picture and the pinout we're looking for pins five and six or sorry four which is five volt ground and six all right i just removed this so we have pins four and five which on this top row of io pins is going to be the second and third pins. Attach our lid like so, and then we will. Black is ground, goes on pin six. Red for power goes on pin four, which is right there like that. There we go. That is one installed Raspberry Pi. There we have the Raspberry Pi 4 installed in the case. Uh, we still need to get some software on it to do anything useful. And next time, we'll be installing the software on the Raspberry Pi in order to make it do something useful. All right, guys, we will see you in the next one.